in battle drills, which section commander is going to help us with, and we're going to watch him not know. So first thing, uh, we use an acronym called PRESAR, which is the six section battle drill, which stands for what, Jenny? What? <laughs> Enemy suppress attack regroup. Yep. So the first one is a uh, P, which is prep for battle, which we use a porpoiseo uh, acronym, which we go over in a minute. The next one is uh, reaction to effective enemy fire, which is the R. Uh, e is enemy, which is locate the enemy, observe fire movement. S is suppress the enemy, or gain the initiative of the firefight. A is attack. And R is regroup or reorg, depending on uh, the level. Anyone know the difference between uh, regroup and a reorg? Anyone that's not Ovi or Jensen? Nope. Anyone? Ovi? Regroup is on section, reorganization is on the platoon level. Yeah, happy days. So. Oh, fuck. Who keeps fucking talking? Fuck, fuck this shit. Hold on. Yes, mate. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm going to do. Right, two secs. So sort of Zeus in some shit. A bit worried why he needs that in there. Aren't they doing the same thing as we're doing? No. Oh. Fair enough. Where are you, Sally? I will not know what the six session battle drills are. Oh, for fuck's sake, really. Oh. Uh, Chris off comp for two mics. Can you touch it briefly again, Chris? Chris for everybody. Right, so PRESAR, which is P R E S A R, is the six session battle drill. Um, yeah, we'll the do. P is prep for battle. R is reaction to effective enemy fire, which is obviously dash down, cool. Observe, return fire. Um, e is enemy, which is also locating the enemy. S is suppress the enemy. And A is attack. And R is reorg or regroup. Everyone happy with that? Anyone not know what it stands for? Yeah? Everyone's happy? Yes. Say yes, lads. Aye. Say yes. Yeah. Say yes. Yeah. I'm if you don't know, if you don't know, say no. What does message me later? I wasn't listening. Yeah, right, Jenny. What does the P stand for? In what pre sign? Yeah. No. Triple battle. Hey. Oh, we are. But oh, that's the reef drills. That stop. Don't stop taking my fucking thunder, dude. He is uh, enemy location or enemy. Uh, S press A attack and R is reorg or regroup. Happy Fucking ding days. dong days. Right. Want me to do Everyone purpose too? Huh? Huh? Want me to do purpose so? Yeah, go on, then, go on. Are uh, uh, you sure? Yeah, go. Uh, P is protection. A is ammunition. W weapons. P personal. E equipment. R is radios, S is special equipment, and O is an orders. Order. So where do we have it written down, Jin? Awesome. <laughs> I have some notes here that I wrote the first time and I tried to fucking oh, read my own We'll never have um, to remember I, it. On the prep for battle thing, the uh, porpoise thing is, a lot of it is kind of um, ripped off real life and a lot of it is kind of irrelevant, i.e. Uh, the second P in porpoise for personal, so it's personal camouflage concealment um obviously not that relevant in armor because it's completely fucking redundant in it but yeah and especially with our um radios generally nine times out of ten your radios aren't going to fucking change but it's always worth checking them before anything but happy days right so uh the real regroup the last of six section battle drills which is paces do anyone know what paces do stands for yep well i'll be fire them out E protection, A ammo, E casualty check, E equipment check, S is search, D is begin, and O is orders. Happy o, o. fucking days.
Yeah. Right. Anyone got any questions on that? Anything so far? No, oh, Chris. Good boy. How you would deploy that, Chris, and not just what it is. We are going to go into that now. Okay. I'll sit down. <laughs> They work in, as far as you boys would know it, in a section. So, uh, first thing you do, section commander, is obviously going to do his uh, porpoise drills, which is obviously looking for protection, which is generally harbour area or somewhere like that. Um, ammunition, obviously doing your amcas, make sure weapons are correct, personal cam, skip that. Equipment scales, um, if you're going to need any um, wire cutters or fucking random Dems or fucking anything like that. Um, our radios, make sure everyone's on the radios, um, which is also where you do all the little radio checks at the start of the ops, which you should do. Specialist equipment kind of comes under equipment. Um, and O orders, which would be your section commander's orders um, that he's got from the platoon commander. All this, is, all the uh, porpoise drills are done in a safe location. So they're always in a harbour area or somewhere that's got an all-round defence or a nice secure airfield or somewhere like that before we head off, yeah? Right, so what we're going to go over now is how they kind of run in a section attack. So let's piss off somewhere else where we're not going to get fucking shot out by javelins and that in a minute. So let's boogie over somewhere, follow me. Push out a bit, mate, so we can get out of their way. We're not fucking firing javelins over. Noisy as fuck, man. You up? You noisy as fuck. Yeah. They're not fucking the quietest things in javelins either. Expensive. Very, yeah, very expensive. Going right well, not as expensive as a tomahawk. It's expensive. Which, as which isn't as expensive <laughs> as a. Is it not? I thought it was more. Carrier. Oh, it's a nice little bit of woodland for the fence. Yeah. A bit of PT, is this? Yeah. Better bother, it's not PT, I've got your PT belt on. I've got my PT belt on. Find a gap in the fucking fence, then. This. Go on your own, Bob. Fuck. See the Zeus is in a car, really, shouldn't I? I hope you're being sarcastic, are we? Been extremely sarcastic, mate. Yeah, good. I was about to say, how the fuck did you get good one? <laughs> it's bad sport if we all just go prone and twack him. You fucking neck poke on the grass. Eh, uh, funny. Well, I can barely see your legs. Alright, <laughs> mate. Concealment. Ah, uh, do I? Uh, your section 2 IC is given out your grit command for your section. Uh, your section IC is then on the radio to HQ, uh, given out. What the fucking no, Jesus no. Christ is that? <laughs> your section commander is on the radio to platoon commander, giving out a, um, a full contact report. Um, we won't go over contact reports, uh, it's mainly something for GNCOs to know about, but. Just be aware of that's what he's doing. So if you hear him on the radio, just know that. I'll be the lazy bastard when he's not doing anything. Yep. Right. They're fucking loud, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> right, so uh, once your section commander's given out your um, uh, his contact report, uh, at the end of it, basically... At the end of the contact report, you have uh, such a one gives out his intentions, which is obviously what he intends to do. Uh, either pull back, push on for a section attack, or wait for orders. 
in a nutshell, that's the three we use really. So uh, for this example, Section Commander will say he's going to uh, continue on with Section Attack as he believes he can win the firefight. So from there, Section Commander takes back over control and then he will split up the section into Charlie and Delta Fire teams and then he will give orders to each one of how he wants to proceed with it. So nine times out of ten, your Delta Fire team is going to be suppressing and Charlie Fire team is going to be attacking. That's generally right in uh, two sessions, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Happy days. Oh, just spoken. I won't set up. Uh, right. uh, post. Silo. Hole. Port. Delta. Rest is Charlie. Charlie's red as per usual. Joking. Just for the fun of it. Prepare to uh, be engaged. Section. Move. Those extended lines, everybody needs to do a ring drive on. Effective contact. Push a little bit left. What's wrong with it? Straight. Yeah, nothing can make. No, nothing can work. It's perfectly straight, mate. So, uh, you should go for more anyway. Contact, 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 front. Contact. Have anybody seen the enemy? Thank you. Hello, front. 100 meters. I'll be you in command. Section 100 meters to your front. Rapid fire. every three seconds.
for uh, Roger. Delta are going to bound forward. Me and Cole will move first. Prepare to move. Move. One down. Two prepared to move. Move. Pressing the bunker. You've probably heard of you say uh, switch fire right at some point. Uh, yeah, you just give them the switch fire command. Friendly's entering from the northwest. Roger, Roger. Two, prepare to move. Move to the bunker. Move. Jez up, move. Delta, we're going to cover west, east through north, Charlie, west, east through south. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah great. Happy days, yeah, just uh, pull out. Send message over. Yeah, I was on the way out. Yeah, just guys come and gather around me. Get into it, let's. Yeah, 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 I am fucking tired today, Ollie. <laughs> I am so knackered you wouldn't have any idea. I'm just gonna hear from that. You get death, yeah. it should be death. Then you uh, go oh. into your ace options and turn it off. Yeah, I did. You click apply. Mm -hmm. Such a sarcastic bastard, aren't you, Bob? Shut up, Chris. Fine then. Hey, boys. Fast wankers. Fast wankers. Break. Yeah. I'm just gonna shoot this nice. like those school shootings stuff from the 70s. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Behave yourself, solid. Behave me? He's the one on the roof. Right, we'll turn us. and face the beautiful baby face city. Babe cakes. Just city saurus. Hello, babes. How you doing? Hello, beautiful. Um, right, uh, just gonna have very, very, very quick input uh, uh, from solid. Um, and myself on the medic stuff. So solid crack on. Stop the bleeding. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, go on, side. Yeah. Well, when a person is shocked, you are more likely going to use the quick cloth on light wounds. They also work on medium wounds, and they are a bit more useless on large wounds. Whenever someone is shot and you have a medium or a large wound, you will use the packing cloth. The packing cloth is used uh, also on small wounds, but, you know, the drill. Uh, you will also have a bandage somewhere in your bag. It can be used in either of the cases to some degree, but Sit. the two f mentioned before are the ones you will focus on the most. So, quick loss on small wounds, larger than that, you need to use the packing. The regular bandage is very soft on the sphincter, so you can use if you need to take a dump in the woods. 
Um, this cracks two my... different jokes with two different groups. I love this. This guy's full I of jokes. Love it. Forgot. Um, really, uh, never ever ever treat yourself or another person without talking with your medic. This is important, and your medic will tell you why eventually. And I shouldn't I actually have to tell you at all, to be honest, because this is... Um, shots needs to go out as long as there are shots coming in, and as long as that's happening, you are not going to treat your wounds at all. Uh, Jesus, I don't fucking know anymore. That's the gist of it, priority. to be honest. Yeah, thing. fire don't superiority. Yeah, as long as there's okay. bullets in there, don't fucking do anything. And if you're gonna tourniquet, you're gonna need to talk with the medic yet again. Always talk with your medic. If he can treat you, you treat yourself. And he will tell you when you to treat yourself and where to go, most likely. Is that understood? Hemorrhoids. <laughs> Does anybody here not know how to use the A3 medical system? Like if you do not know how to use the A3 medical system at this point, log off. I'll watch Chicken Friday. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for medic stuff, isn't it? Yeah, so that's yeah. the gist of it. Stop the bleeding. Yeah. Start small and big. Don't do anything on your own initiative without talking to the medic first. If the medic is not near, then don't be a twat and start using yeah. it on the fire. If, you, if you're not a medic, stop the bleeding. If you are a medic, stop the bleeding and then do anything else. Um, if there's a, a, a lull in the firefight and you're able to stop your own bleeding, speak to the medic first, obviously. If the medic says, yeah, bandage yourself up, bandage yourself up, uh, and then don't fucking go running off and go, oh, I need you to fucking inject me with morphine because I'm a weak little cunt. Just fucking get on with the firefight until the medic has time to come over and see you. Um... And that's the gist of it. Uh, Treat right. the medic with respect. Yeah. You. If the medic's hit though, then obviously you don't have to ask him if you can bandage him. Just bandage him and then get your section IC to call for the platoon medic. I'm only hey, joking so... with the respect thing. You can actually treat him how bad you want. <laughs> Especially if your medic ends up being Kieran. Right, uh, if your medic... Oh, fool, you're just mischief! Sit down! <laughs> right. If your medic is shot and you do possess any sensible understanding of uh, A3 medical shit, do you treat him or do you wait for Bandage his medic? Bandage him. Bandage him. Yes, Stop the bleeding. This, this is really. This is really. This shouldn't even be a question. God damn it! Of course you yeah. treat the medic, but you don't treat the medic when the bullets are coming in or going yeah, out. Yeah. That's the only rule you need to think about. Stop the bleeding and uh, then call for the platoon medic. Okay, yeah, that, that was my point. Obviously you stop the bleeding, yeah. but you don't go any further. Yeah. No, nope, don't give him morphine or anything like that. Uh, if, if By the time that you've uh, bandaged him up... <laughs> anyway, Thank as we were saying... Thank you so fucking much. I fucking hate that guy. Please, crack on. <laughs> Just because I was bored. Okay. Right, um... In front of me, on my left, you'll see a javelin tube. In front of me, on my right, you will see a CLU. Everyone seen? Good. Good. They are two separate items within armour. You can pick up the tube and you can pick up the CLU. Uh, when it gets to the point that we have three sections, one of the sections will be carrying javelins within their section. Okay? The AT rifleman will be carrying the CLU and the tube and uh, another rifleman will be carrying just a spare tube. Um, the When you pick up both parts, like I will now, ta -da, um, you can press B and you can use the CLU as a pair of binoculars, like that. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Big enough. <laughs> uh, and if you scroll down to the javelin tube on your scroll wheel, you will get nothing. And that's because you need the CLU to use the javelin. So, to do that, you go into your ace menu, go equipment and assemble javelin. You will now do a weird animation and the CLU will magically spawn into your head. And then your javelin is ready to use. 
the javelin, uh, when you look in the site, can only be used in the most zoomed in, uh, which will be indicated at the top of your screen by the uh, narrow field of view going green as opposed to the wide field of view. Uh, and it can only be used in one of the two night vision settings, either black hot or white hot. So it won't work in the normal camera. Once you've, uh, am I still on yelling? Yelling. Once you've um, set all that up, you find your target, which at the moment, at the end of the range, there are several. Don't need to run away. Don't need to run away. It's a javelin. There's no back blast. Or well, there shouldn't be. Um, you press and hold tab, it will draw a little box around it. When there is a plus sign through the target, you, you click, so oh, come out, oh, come, come out. out. <laughs> and it's a fucking loud one. And it, yeah, go on. Two meters, two centimeters away from hitting the top of that camera net. Yeah, as I say, it, it gets a bit of clearance from you, and then the rocket ignites. And if any of you actually looked at the rocket instead of at Toster's head, uh, you would have seen it looks pretty fucking impressive going up into the air. Right, once you've fired off your javelin, uh, the key point is is you're going to run over to this bush or over near this bush. You are going to hold down your interaction menu and disassemble javelin. This will split it again into two parts. It would do the weird animation as if he's reloading it, but effectively it will split it into the CLU and the javelin tube. You're then going to drop the used javelin tube on the floor and then drop the CLU back over here. Okay? So, everyone come over to me. Oh, he's dead. And grab a CLU. Uh, Once everyone's got a CLU, come and stand by the box. Go into the box and grab a javelin tube. Once everyone's got a javelin javelin tube over on the left camo nets go and find yourself a bit of space in front of the camo nets and stand there ready don't assemble it here because we'll have loads of people doing fucked up animations on my left my left yeah, my left not your left my left go on Ergie what do you want to say I'll come on to that I'll come on to that Your plug, city. Your plugs. Seriously? Right, everyone step in front of the firing positions because else you're going to hit the camo nets. So make sure you're in front of the firing positions. So out here in line with me. Make sure everyone's in some sort of a line. That's it. Jenny's just in front of everyone. Uh, has everyone managed to assemble their uh, their thingies? Ball, what the fuck are you doing? Look so fucking badass when they fired man. Die low. See, I'm locked and it's on fire next to you. Oh. Oh, it's just a fucking about. Zoom right in. Press plus on your numpad. Right, press, press N so you're in thermal view. Yep, press and hold tab on one of the targets. And then when it has a plus sign for it, fire. <laughs> right, if all of you want to come join me. If you haven't already, go into your 8 interaction menu and disassemble your javelins. If you have disassembled your javelin, drop the tube on the floor. Go and grab another one. Yay! Oh, this is handy. Yeah. 
I have interest. Is there any way to swap between top and direct? Yes, there mate. Wasn't, there wasn't an armor too, so I was wondering if that Yes, mate. Be. There is. I'll uh, go through that now that you're all going to grab another tube. I myself need another tube just to check it's working still. I realised it wasn't working. I had a different key binding. Uh, shut up, Bobby. I did listen. But are you gonna cover how you can, like, what you can lock on to? Or are you not doing that? Uh, I'll come on to that in a second. Right. Okay. Everyone ready? Right, everyone assembled, yeah? Right, uh, you can change fire mode from top down attack to direct, which is indicated on the right hand side of your screen when you're zoomed in by pressing control and tab. You should see the little green icon change. Has anyone got uh, any issues with that? Okay, uh, in top. Say again, mate. It should go from top to di it DIR. Isn't. It isn't, no? Do you say it isn't, Toster? I can't actually hear Toster. Can anyone hear Toster? So you, you no. Because when you do control and tab. Ah, yes. Yeah, mode. Toster, you've changed to whispering, mate. Press control and tab again. To you. So that you I'm stood next to him and I can't hear him. Oh yeah, he's transmitting to me. Yeah, he's transmitting on Teamspeak. I just can't hear him. Should uh, change it to direct mode. Uh, who's on the end? Ergie. Ergie, have you had any problems getting to direct mode? No, no, no. No, okay, if you uh, go through the process and fire. And Jezza. Jenny. Stylo and off. Stay in line. Never done ball. Um, right, guys, I don't know if you'd noticed, but when you uh, all fired, then it still goes in the top down arc. Um, if you like, uh, top down attack, the rocket will go up like 600 meters. Um, and then it will come down. Uh, when it's um, in direct mode, it'll only go up 50 or so meters, and then it will go direct to target. Um, direct mode will not penetrate uh, some armor on some tanks. Um, Top-down attack mode, I have yet to find something in armor that will resist it. So uh, basically, if you're using the javelin, try and use it in top-down attack mode. Obviously, Using a javelin has its flaws. You can only use it when you're outside, and you can only use it when you have space, because it's got to go up. So if you fire it from within a building or within a window, you're gambling with pretty much your entire section's life. Uh, that it, the rocket's going to get out of that window before it goes up. Uh, and as we've already demonstrated, there is no back blast, which is handy. Um, has anyone managed to figure out if Toster's got his mic working yet? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. um, oh. Uh, he's, he's back. back. 
you know what happened to you, Mike? Because you were transmitting, but none of us could hear. Uh, my mic was broken. Alright. It was broken. Okay, mate. It seems to be working alright for us now, so we can hear you now. Um, okay. What were you having problem with with your uh, javelin? I was having a problem to switch the control tab, so I read on okay, to another one, and it works now. It's working now, yeah? Yes. Cool. If you want to go ahead and fire in direct mode then. Solid, still don't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> So if anyone watched Tosters then, it still went up like 50 meters or so, but then it went direct to target from there. Okay, um, we've also got eye laws in the box. Uh, I doubt we'll be using them because the eye law has been replaced by the end law. The eye law was something that was bought during uh, Afghanistan because we didn't have the end laws yet, and the um, the previous S laws weren't really uh, cutting it or M laws, whatever they were. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about the javelin? I have a shitload, but that may be late. Right, step in, step in, everyone, a little bit, and uh, we'll uh, speak about javelins. Go on, there has a question. Yeah, okay, uh, so I know you can uh, lock on literally anything warm. Yes, but right. In case you cannot uh, see it, can you mark with laser? Uh, I haven't tested it as of yet, but I would assume not. Uh, the CLU unit is um, a cooled um, unit, and the reason it's cooled is because it works on thermals. Um, so my assumption, and I'll have to double check, is that Javelin is a heat signature only weapon. It can't be designated. Roger. Unless anyone knows otherwise. The only thing I know is the reason that it's so that this CLU unit is so massive is because it's got its own water cooling system and stuff inside of it. So, even on, the, even on the wiki, it just says it can log on to thermal signatures. Doesn't mention laser devs, so I imagine yeah. it can't. So yeah, so I'd imagine it is thermal only. Any other questions? You could have someone run out with a light and stand next to it. <laughs> <laughs> look on the chem lights. Uh. I, I severely so doubt it. If you're one's wire guide as well. well but... if, you, if you rub it against your leg really quick, and then pop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, got a question. Um, right, go on. Uh, oh, yeah, but, uh, um, I know now we've been taught to uh, choose top down or direct, and we can change uh, the visions and the zoom in and shit like that, but uh, all the other signs, are they eligible or available in any way? Or is it just for, for show? Uh, what, round the. Um... The Around the screen, screen when you zoom in, yeah? Um, I've never seen any of the ones on the left working. Uh, so the battery, the non-fire, and the hang fire. Um, day will only show when you're in day view, obviously. Uh, narrow and wide field of view for when you've zoomed in and zoomed out. If you're not in near field of view, it won't fire. So that's an indication as to... Oh, it won't lock, sorry. Um, so if you've got wide field of view, you need to press plus on your numpad a couple more times. Obviously, uh, seek will be when you're seeking for a target or once you've acquired said target. Um, top and direct uh, as they are. And uh, FLTR, I can't actually remember. I think it's when, yeah, it's when the night vision, uh, when you're on night vision. Forward looking thermal something. I think that's called a FLIR, but that thing directs to something, yeah, if it's the thing uh, abbreviation be, FLIR of FLIR would be, FLIR would be, it could be, yeah, format. it could be for filter, yeah. Yeah, it could be the other for filter. Would be, would be FLIR. But it's, it's not really a filter, I, I would assume it's for, uh, forward looking thermal something. Oh yeah, the moment, right, yeah. But, one second. Gordon. Still didn't hear. I might not have after to make you not look stupid. No, go on. Oh, I don't know what it is. Tell the tell the group. They're after. Okay. Just how uh, dynamic is the thermal lock on? So like for the campfire. Uh, I don't know, but can you lock on? Well, you. I can lock on to you. I tested. You cannot. I can. You can. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so you can lock on to. Uh, I don't know about range. It was literally from like tw twenty meters. Cool. Okay. Um, you were, you were. 
so I'm not going to tell him, but you won't be able to lock on if you haven't got a live tube attached. It has to be a live tube. Um, if you've got a used tube, you won't be able to lock on. So that's why it's important to the second you've fired it to disassemble it and chuck your used tube away. Uh, yeah, in missions, etc., will we be making buildings radiate heat as in normal life? Are we shooting javelins at buildings, in other words? Uh, you won't be shooting javelins at buildings in real life um, because they don't give out a thermal uh, heat signature. Unless, of course, they're growing cannabis inside. <laughs> then they might well give out a thermal heat signature, in which case, yeah, you'd be able to hit it. But, yeah, basically, if it if it's hot, you can shoot it. If it's not, then you can't. Oh, I mean, we can't shoot Kieran. You can't, well, dude, you just said you can lock onto him. Yeah. You saying Kieran's hot? You some sort of pedo? <laughs> See what you did there. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, uh, I'll check in with Chris in a second and see how much longer he's got left with them and then I think we're doing one platoon exercise and then we'll be done. Yeah, you want to back in the shotgun? Yeah, sure. That's an old one to one. Uh, you won't be all by yourself because we don't have shotguns. Or do you rather want to train your um, LFG? Uh, whatever you see, sir. Uh, you do go shotgun, so you know how it works. Uh, we only can't believe Because I think we know how to use a rifle over here, don't we? days right thanks everyone for uh bearing with as we kind of went for a section attack it probably wasn't the most uh exciting um mission night for everyone tonight but you know sometimes need must and kind of brushing up on the 
basics of our kind of bread and butter skills and drills wise um it's got sort of nice and nice sometimes um obviously making us better um uh, both sections performed rather well i thought in the session attacks um just to try and make sure everyone's kind of keeping that up and uh you know actually an ops is kind of kind of keep into them skills and drills and hopefully uh our session attacks against AI work a hell of a lot better. Um, next up, uh, on Monday, we're going to be starting a new campaign, which I forgot what I fucking named it. Um, Aria, I think it's called, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, that'll be all posted up either later on tonight or tomorrow evening at some point. Um, so watch out for that. Uh, there's going to be a small repo update of literally just a map to update, nothing else. Um, but I think we're going to update a Ace as well. And City's going to fucking moan at me I do to update some of the other shit as well. Um, section section crates. Yeah, section crates as well. Um, don't forget we've got joint ops on Saturday. Um, the brief will be going up for that hopefully tonight. I did get a WhatsApp off him earlier, but I haven't read it yet, um, which kind of outlines a small brief, so I've just got to do a little platoon uh, brief for us guys. Um, if Do you can make today? it, uh, time, I think it's going to be kind of load on.